Hello everyone, this is Rick from Rick's Video Game Collection, and we're going to be doing an uh, unboxing video for the uh, month of August. Before I get into this though, I'm going to tell you it's, it's been a long day. Went to work, got off of work early, so I went out to my uh, fiance's and mowed her, her yard. It's over an acre out there, and I'm push mowing this, by the way. Anyway, I'm dragging in to the, uh, getting through the door and everything when I get home. And I seen this, it came. Then they, uh, second wind, my, my, uh, wrestling, uh, second wind there came in. And I was like, woo! <laughs> so anyway. Onward with the unboxing. So tired of can you open this knife real good? There we go. Okay. First thing I can see is we have another koozie. But I got my red one over here in my uh, little nightstand area over here. Uh, I want to say that I'm pretty sure this is the uh, Konami code that's on it. So anyway, we got a little card it's the simply share a photo this month's box to our Facebook page two random winners <laughs> will receive three free games in this month's box the update your library card and we also have a two up okay Okay, now, we'll start off with the uh, Xbox Platinum Hits version of Spider-Man. There ain't a uh, manual, but that's quite all right. It is the uh, right disc, because you can tell they started labeling them around the PS2 era, I believe. A little bit on the scratchy side. I think they could get buffed out though. Okay, that's our only CD based game. The other game is uh, Super Famicom. I will be interested in uh, playing this once I get my Retron 5 back up. It always wants to break down now. Not break down in the sense that it don't want to work no more. It just breaks down and it wants to be updated constantly. Halfway thinking about just buying a new one and not even putting it online. I was having better luck with uh, games that way. But anyway, uh, Super Famicom game, Dragon Quest V. And then we got a Famicom game, and it is Mighty Bomb Jack. And we have a Super Nintendo game. And it is Star Fox. That was a pretty alright game. I hate it when the uh, rabbit guy says, do a barrel row. That, that drove me crazy. And we have another... Complete in box game gear super battle tank. And then we have a Nintendo DS game. Uh, 
I cannot read that really, really small stuff, but it's a... Uh, let see if we get it focused in on it, and maybe we can pick it up. Come on, work. Apparently it does not want to work. Yeah. And anyway, it's, uh, I want to say, Back You Can. And then there's a little subtitle that I can't read. Because the letters are just too small. I know. Hold on. I'll be right back. I go get my coin loop. That'll pick it up. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we got. Well, it's either Page of the Resistance or Fate of the Resistant, something like that. I want to pop it on, I'll find out. But other than that, the, lit, the subtitle is just so small, it's not readable for me. Okay, and then we have Echo, the Tides of Time for the Genesis. And we have a 2600, Atari's 2600 game, Casino. And then we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for the Game Boy Color. And then we have three Game Boy games. We have Star Wars. Marble Madness. And the last one is Game and Watch Gallery. All right, guys, that's it till next month. Hopefully, I won't be so wore out that I don't want to play any video games like I am right now. I'll probably just do the uh, update my library thing and call it a night. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed.